Oh, EA, you did it again. So yeah, another Star Wars Battlefront video, but this is gonna be more of a just talking about some things that happened with Star Wars Battlefront 2 lately. It's not something I really upload on my channel, but I think this one was pretty important to talk about. <laughs> because I think this is a very interesting thing, I wouldn't get my, out my opinion. But also because I want to clear up some things that I've actually seen are... There are some lies about this game too that we need to fix up. <laughs> so in case you were have been living under a rock the few, last few days, you probably don't know about the scandal, the e, this Star Wars Battlefront 2 scandal that's been going on and the pay to win system in it. Now there's been a lot of complaints on both the credits, the crafting parts and the, and the like currency the system all around and to be honest there are a lot of things I agree with but some things I just have to clear up which is really important so number one is that there's come a lot of complaints about there being that tiers are way too expensive and that they are being locked up in the start of the game which I understand what people mean they, as you can see all these tiers are locked and you have to play the like, credits to buy them and quite honestly, it's it's dumb that they even locked up, but I can understand why EA might, may want this. Because the thing about a lot of these games is that you need to get your... You need to have the player base have a goal to reach while they're playing. You know, as like Call of Duty has locked guns, for example. Uh, EA had to most likely just... EA thought that locking heroes might be a good idea so that you have something to progress against. But really heroes, they really should not lock the heroes because that's the main thing of the game we all want to get instantly. We all want to play as Darth Vader or, uh, and Luke Skywalker instantly when we get into the game. We don't really care about, I don't think a lot of people buy this game just to play as Lando Catalyst, Sam. I think more people want to play as Luke than him. But there is one problem that we have to address. And that is the entire rumor that it takes 40 hours to unlock Darth Vader, for example. And as you can see by my currency, I've been playing for... I've only played like 5 matches in general now. Like two, well, that's about 2 hours of gameplay, alright? If you cut out the cutscenes. And I can al already afford him. I've already gotten him. And that's less than two hours of gameplay right there. Because something, he, that dude who calculated this with four hours, most likely were correct when it came down to uh, the, the credits you only get from playing, like from a match. He probably did not know that you can, that you get credits for doing um, different missions. Like for example, getting started, you get thousand credits right off the bat. Craft like craft, uh, crafting, crafting parts, hundred crafting parts from doing different achievements and such. People have forgot, people have forgotten to say this, and that's why Star Wars Battlefront 2 is getting a lot more shit than it deserves on this part, because you can earn all all the credits much faster than than, than this dude on Reddit claimed it would take 40 hours to play the game. Still pretty dumb that um, that is EA does this, but uh, that they're locking down the heroes. But it was not as bad as some people mean it is. These abilities give you huge like upper hand, like suppressed success cooling duration. They are just upgrades to your character and classes, and the only way to get them is through crafting parts. But as far as I know, the only uh, what to get those crafting parts are through the crates. And they just cost a shit ton of credits to get. Or you could just buy you $20 and such to get a shit ton of these so you can just buy and buy and buy and buy. Yeah, EA yeah, pretty much F that thing. I think that I think that just should make the crafting parts way easier to get if they They need to have some other way to get crafting parts than crates, because like I again, I've been playing for two uh, two hours, and I've only been able to for like like three crowd like cards if I used it once. So that's a pretty broken part of the game, and it was so bad that EA decided to shut down the purchasing of 
uh, of crates with the diamonds for now, and they will add the system back later, it says. They're saying that they will try to improve the system and try to not break it as broken, but I think we all know that that's most likely not going to happen. They've had this budget in mind to uh, to earn money off this game so they can get, get you know, revenue out of this one, but... Um, so they're going to have, they're going to have to add in the loot crates after a while because that's in their plan. They can't just remove the most important part of the plan, most likely. Just out of the bat, it's going to return again. And but hopefully, until then, a lot of people have gotten enough crafting parts to regular crates to the freeway to not make to not make the multiplayer very unbalanced. Now, as we are already talking about this game, I can just talk about the multiplayer and how this system has been affecting the game. And so far, I'm just gonna have to say that it really hasn't changed the game that much. I personally, I feel like the game is a lot better. If I had to pick uh, Star Wars Battlefront 1 or Star Wars Battlefront 2, I would still buy, <laughs> I would rather choose Star Wars Battlefront 2, this game. Because it's done a lot of improvements. It added a campaign. It has now you get heroes and upgrades to to playing the actual game and not camping at spawns, which was a huge problem in the last game where people are just sitting at spawns and waiting for it to load in or just or actually killing themselves just so they had the chance to get the hero pickup instead. And this game, you get it through just battling, you know, doing the doing the objective and getting killed. You get battle points, which just improves the game a lot. And even though it doesn't have that many modes, it still has a lot better. I have not tried the Starfighter Assault, uh, but I've tried the Galactic Assault, the Blast, and the two heroes. Here's the villain. Not tried the Strike though. Um, but I will say one thing about this game. This game is a lot better than the last one, just just because it's it's so much more open. Now we got class instead of just people running around with the same gun all the time. And it does. I will say that the classes are very balanced. I never feel like any class has ever had the upper hand. When I play the class, uh, like if I have played the assault, I always am a lot better at close range than a sniper, for example, is. But sometimes, like, but I can get killed by sniper as far the distance. It, I feel like the classes are way more balanced instead of the furious game where everyone were running with the same gun all the time. Because if you use anything else than that one gun, you were handicapping yourself, which was just a real problem. And also how extra weapons, the best weapons we, and the most fun weapons to use in the game was locked behind a season pass? That was fucking dumb. That was incredibly dumb, I feel like. But the, they have not added a system into this game. They're actually giving a free DLC, which is a, a huge step for EA, let's be honest. EA is not the one to give away free DLC. <coughs> Sims? But I'll just say that if you are interested in this game and or if you're interested in the first one, skip the first one and get this game instead actually. But do not buy this game just now. If you're not a huge ass Star Wars fan who's really want to play it right now while it's still hot, if you're not one of those fans, do not buy it right now. Wait for a sale because it costs way too much right now and it and personally, I really want to just play this game and get my experience myself. But if you are someone who wants to play this game but is very unsure, it's, you don't want to use as much money, wait, because it's not worth using 60 bucks on this game just yet. Sorry for just making this random ass video. I normally don't do this, but to be honest, I just really want to get my opinion out there because there's been a lot of misconceptions of the game and. EA has been fucking up so much. I just want to talk about my opinion, and I probably misunderstood a lot. Tell me in the comments down below what I misunderstood, or I don't know, talk some, start some discussions. What do you feel about this game? I personally enjoyed the game for the gameplay. I never, ever, I have never, like, gotten bored by playing this game. But I feel like this system they have right here is just way too broken. Get easier ways to get crafting parts. Unlock, get the ch price for heroes cheaper so we can. So it's much easier to get them because quite honestly I want to play a Skook Skywalker now but I only have this and it's quite annoying. I just We just want to play the heroes and do it, you know? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video and you agree on anything I said or disagreed or whatever, 
hit that like button to just let me know if I did a great job on this and comment down below what you agreed upon or what you disagreed upon and we can talk about that in the comments down below. If you are new to the channel though, I uh, just know I don't really use, do these videos but uh, you know it'd be nice if you just you know maybe hit that subscribe button or even better just check out my channel see my content and then pick a subscribe button it really helps me out a lot i just want to grow this channel it's i like i love making videos and it's been a hell of a blast so far again thank you so much for watching this video and as always stay awesome bye bye